We are bringing you guys an exclusive first look at the very first Assassin Champion card for the Grand Archive trading card game. Let's jump in. Hey everyone, it's Dan with Main Deck, and we're here with another great Grand Archive video for you guys. Of course, here at Main Deck, we cover all sorts of trading card games, and Grand Archive TCG is one of our favorite upcoming trading card games. Hasn't yet released, coming out later this year, towards the end of next year, depending on when you look at the official release of it. We got a Kickstarter release, and then we have a retail release coming after that. Uh, but it funded on Kickstarter right at the beginning of the year, and we've just been so impressed with everything the company has been doing, from their initial offering on Kickstarter to all the follow-up that they've done. We have a series of different videos you can check out where we've covered some of the updates to the game and everything. But in this one, I'm really pumped, because just a little bit ago, the fine folks at Weebs of the Shore reached out to us and they said, hey, how would you like to spoil the Assassin Champion? And I was like, no. Just kidding, of course. I was like, yes, yes, please. I would love to do that. So uh, we got sent a couple of cards to show you guys today. Now, um, if you're familiar with Grand Archive, the way this kind of works is that we are, there are four classes in the game. You got Mage, you got Warrior, you got Tamer, and then there was one more, and it was voted on by the community, and the community kind of overwhelmingly voted for the Assassin. Um, so I was really pumped to get this because it's kind of getting to show the people what they voted for. Now, um, in the game, every character has a level one through three that's in the core set, and then there's also a lineage break level two. And that is actually what we're gonna be showing you today, which is the lineage break version of the Assassin. So this isn't everything. We'll of course be getting a full one through three set, and you can look forward to, uh, well, I don't know where that's gonna be, but I'm sure we'll see that very soon. But these lineage break characters give you a cool option uh, that you can take your character into if you don't want to go the typical one through three route. Um, so right before we jump in, I, guys, I have two really important things that I got to mention to you guys. First of all, if you are a fan of Grand Archive and you uh, maybe you have played the game a little bit already through print and play, or maybe you haven't gotten to try it at all, right now on our Discord, uh, which we have a link to down in the description below, we're running another three-week casual play league event. It's the perfect experience to jump in and try the game with some people who'd love to teach you. All you have to do is have Tabletop Simulator, no entry fee required. Um, but And even if you don't want to play, we just have a community there who's chatting about Grand Archive. And throughout these three weeks, we're going to be giving away a whole bunch of sample promo packs. Uh, those can include some of the really hot sample cards like Lorraine Fest of Night, uh, Starfoil promo card, um, some thick versions of the different levels of Lorraine, all sorts of cool stuff are in there. So if you want a chance to win some sample cards for Grand Archive, you got to go hop down on your discard at the link below in the description. And then thing number two, guys, I, you know, of course I got to mention this. We're still trying to grow. We're trying to get the good word out about not only Grand Archive, but all of our other favorite trading card games. And if you would like to help us out, if you enjoy this content, would really appreciate it. If you just hop down there, hit a quick like on the video, leave a comment, tell us about what you think of the new Assassin card as soon as we've shown you. And if you could subscribe for us, of course, that would help us out so much. So really appreciate that. I'm not going to spend any more time talking about that, though. I'm going to give you guys what you're looking for, which is the Assassin. And we are looking at Tristan Grimstalker. She's right here. Tristan Grimstalker is the level two lineage break assassin champion. Lineage break, of course, means this champion can't level up. So it's kind of a cool effect, which means if you want to forego being able to get to your level three, you can go to this level two version of the assassin, um, get a slightly stronger effect on level two, get a little more health than you might have. Uh, for that character class typically on their normal level two, um, but then you don't get to go to level three You do not get to unlock that advanced element um, However, what you get here are two very cool abilities on Tristan So what we're gonna see we have one other card to show you one other assassin card to show you That's gonna kind of give a little more context to this But the assassins main mechanic as we've heard is preparation counters and if you check out our previous um, Interview with Chris of the Weebs of the Shore team. We showed off another assassin card there that talked about preparation counters uh, so here we see the champion who's actually able to get preparation counters and use preparation counters herself so her two abilities are on ally hit so this means when the assassin herself attacks either using an attack card or a weapon and then hits an ally and allies in this game are of course your creatures so if you're attacking your opponent you either target an ally or you get intercepted by an ally you can remove three preparation counters from tristan and if you do you just destroy the hit ally it's just gone 
uh, death touch basically against allies. Now, to me, when I read this, three preparation counters seems like it would be a, you know, that's a chunk. That's a chunk of them. So I'm actually really curious and excited to see how else we can gain preparation counters. But I also got to recognize that, like, sometimes um, there are going to be some allies in this game that are just big and hard to get through. And maybe if they have intercept, it's making it impossible to deal damage to your opponent. And this Tristan gives you an interesting out to just take care of them as long as you can build up the preparation counters. Um, and speaking of which, her second ability here is at the beginning of your end phase, if Tristan is awake, put a preparation counter on Tristan, meaning that either you didn't attack with Tristan, I really like the flavor of that, of her just kind of lurking in the shadows and getting ready to strike, um, or maybe you're playing like a wind deck and you're using some cool abilities to awaken Tristan after attacking or something, you get those preparation counters. Seems really interesting and kind of, kind of fun to play around. So... Um, what I'm really curious to see is how else we can gain these preparation counters uh, to really kind of understand the power level of Tristan. But one thing that I think is really cool is these lineage break, um, uh, uh, lineage break champion cards, actually just champion cards in general. Um, an interesting thing about Grand Archive is you don't have to put only a single level two or any level for that matter in your material deck. You can put multiple, so you can build an assassin deck and put Tristan in as maybe an option for level two. And then if you start playing against an opponent who's maybe got some really hefty allies, it's making it impossible for you to get through. Instead of leveling your normal chain level two to three, maybe you'd want to switch and go to level two lineage break, go to Tristan so that you can have a different route to winning that game. And I think that's really exciting to see. So um, in addition, of course, to this normal version, I was super excited to see that we were provided the image of the collector rare version of Tristan Grimstalker as well. And man, this is just, here it is. Boom. Look at that thing. Absolutely gorgeous borderless treatment on this card with the character popping through the boxes, the graphic design on the card. We have the, you can see right here, the gold print uh, stamp of the signature of the artist that's right on there too. Um, one thing you got to note about this one now, since it's the Lineage Break Champion, this is a CSR, and the CSRs, uh, for anyone who just hasn't been like paying uh, absolute you know attention to this game and, and kind of missed some of the details here, um, CSRs are going to be available in the Grand Archive Dawn of Ashes, which is set one, Alter Edition, which is going to be the one that's going to retail stores. And these CSRs are exclusively in the Alter Edition, and Alter is basically their, their form of unlimited um, but instead of having to signify, you know, first and, and unlimited, we have the first edition that's going to Kickstarter backers. Those are the ones that include the limited count, uh, serialized versions of the CURs, which are all the level one through three characters from the set, um, the champions from the set. Whereas these lineage break ones, um, there's only going to be these, these four of them, as far as we understand. And these ones are going to be in the alter edition. So if you want to pick up uh, packs and try and pull this Tristan Grimstalker CSR, you're actually going to be waiting for that Alter Edition to come out. That's where you'll be able to get this CSR. Of course, the normal version of Tristan will be in the main set. The CSR doesn't have any special effects. As you can see, it's exactly the same card. Uh, it just looks extremely cool. So that's Tristan Grimstalker. And let's put a little more context on this now. And we're going to look at uh, an action card for the Assassin called Planted Explosive. Now, Planted Explosive, as you can see here, is a two-cost fire element action. Um, so you're going to be building this, if you're building a fire assassin build, this maybe give us an idea of what a fire assassin build might play like. Um, it's an action assassin skill, and note that it's fast. Fast means it's, you know, instant speed. You can play it in response to other things effectively whenever you have opportunity on either player's turn. Uh, it is a two-cost skill that says prepare one which is you may remove a preparation counter from your champion as you activate this card. So it's an additional cost where if you have a preparation counter, you can remove it to gain a bonus effect on the card. Really like effects like that. Obviously, it's just like Kicker uh, or something in Magic the Gathering where you, you, know, you can play it for its cheaper cost, but if you can build up and play it for the stronger cost, you can get a better effect. Flexibility, always a great thing in games. And this, uh, this effect says deal two damage to target unit. If planted explosive was prepared, deal four damage to that unit instead. So it's very simple, very straightforward effect, 
but really cool and shows kind of that it looks like maybe what a fire assassin might be able to do is for a cheaper effect because two costs for four damage is very cheap in this game um but but using these preparation counters instead you can th get these kind of quick and powerful hits and strikes off on your opponent's units and, and units of course are allies or your opponent's champions so you could get a whole bunch of these in your deck and um, you know, just having, if you can play four of these on the opponent's champions throughout the course of the game, that's 16 damage. That's halfway, over halfway to killing any of the champions we've seen so far, uh, even when they hit level three. So, um, certainly seems like a powerful effect. Uh, I definitely see some potential for this in the early game to be pretty explosive as well, but it does require you to get those preparation counters. So it's really going to come down to how well the assassin is able to generate these preparation counters. Um, and that's really all we can do to analyze this right now because we really need a little bit more context uh, for the assassin. So I cannot wait to see the different levels of the assassin and what they do. But I do know that this Tristan Grimstalker, very beautiful card. I'm so excited that I got to show this to you guys and uh, very interesting effects. And, and it's making, you know, I wasn't someone who voted for assassin uh, personally. I'm still really looking forward to the cleric. That's the one I voted for. Um, but uh, it's really making me a lot more interested than I thought I would be in the Assassin. It looks really cool, so um, I can't wait to see the rest of this. And what I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments below is what you think of our, here, our spoilers here for Tristan Grimstalker and Planted Explosive. So leave your thoughts down in the comment. Once again, guys, if you enjoyed this video, appreciate the like. Um, and please, if you're a Grand Archive fan, head down to our Discord because we want to give you guys some promo packs. We want you guys to get in on all the fun playing in the league or just hanging out and entering our other free giveaways. So head down to the description, hit those links, join us down there. We'd love to see you and, and hype up the game with you guys. Um, super excited for it. Again, huge thanks to Weaves of the Shore for letting us show these off. And as usual, an extra thanks to our patrons who make all this possible. You guys are absolutely the world to us. You guys are helping us get these videos out and uh, do our fun things like our leagues and Discord. And um, if you guys wanted to help us out a little bit more, of course, you can check out our Patreon as well. For as low as two bucks a month, you can help us out in making this content and get some really cool perks alongside that. So check that stuff out in the description as well. But that's it for today, guys. Just a really quick hit video, a little bit of a little bit of an assassin joke there. And uh, I'm, you know, just pumped to see this. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And you guys stay tuned for the next video. Keep on gaming, keep on having fun and getting excited about Grand Archive and other card games. And we'll see you guys next time.